This video is to show you about the colors of channels in the Lightorama sequence editor. Now just to remind you, a channel is a row in a sequence, so this is one channel, this is another channel, and this is the third channel. There are eight channels in this sequence. And each channel represents a single string of lights, or a single floodlight, or whatever, that are controlled individually by the sequence. Uh, so each channel will be plugged into a different plug on your Lightorama controllers. One plug is one channel. And now let's take this on tool and turn a bunch of these channels, all of these channels, on for this time range. And you'll see the way that's indicated is that all of them become this blue color. Now this blue color, it uh, it doesn't matter... Um, whether your actual lights are blue or not, this is the way they're going to show up in the sequence editor by default. You might have a red light hooked up to this one, and a green light hooked up to this one, and a purple light hooked up to this one. They're all going to show up blue here. And that's fine, it'll, it'll work fine, but it might be easier for you to see what's going on if this were red, and this were green, and this were purple. And we can do that in the sequence editor. The way you do that is you click on the channel button, and then this color button over here, we can select that this channel is red. Now he's red. This one we said was green. And this one is purple. And you can do that for all of your channels, and you might do it many times for many different sequences, but uh, just a brief mention here, it would be easier to set it up for one sequence and then use the import and export channel configuration commands uh, to apply it to other sequences that you create. And uh, import and export, we're not going to cover them in this video, but you can see them in the video on uh, new musical sequence options for the channels uh, uh, options of that dialog. Now, if we play the sequence, um, let's turn it off in certain parts first, so it'll all of these ch all of these lights will uh, f flicker on and off for about a half a second each. I shouldn't have said flicker. It's really, they're turning on for a half a second, turning off for a half a second, turning on, off, on, off. Watch the channel buttons. The channel buttons will give you an idea of what will happen on your lights. And if you'll notice, they are the same colors as we specified. So let's watch that one more time. Now, uh, by default, that's the way it'll operate, but you can turn that behavior off if you want. You can say, vary color of channel buttons. That's enabled. Let's disable it. And now if we play, the channel buttons don't change colors. So I think that uh, having the channel buttons change colors during play is useful. Um, other people might find it distracting, so that's why it's optional. Another option is, uh, well, let me show you something first. Let me let's fade up on these blue channels over here and watch what happens to the actual letters and numbers here as it fades up so they turned white at the end they were black and then they suddenly turned white over here let's watch that again they were black they turned white the only reason for that is uh, to make it easy to read them when it when the blue gets uh, more intense, uh, it's easier to read white letters than it is to read black. Uh, again, this is something that some people might find to be a distraction, so you could turn off vary color of channel button fonts. And if we do that, watch the channel button fonts again, or the letters again. They just stayed black the whole time. And that makes them a little less easy to read, but it might be less distracting. 
So I like them varying, so I'll turn this back on, but you might want to try it out both ways and see which one you like. Now, I should say that this play menu, if you change either of these, the next time that you start up the sequence editor, they won't be the same as you changed them to. They'll be set to uh, whatever the default was. So if you turn off vary color of channel buttons, and later on you close the sequence editor and start it up again, vary color of channel buttons will be back on. So in all likelihood you want that to be a permanent setting. So you would go to the edit menu, preferences, play preferences, and you could change these settings here and this makes it this this affects your default choice so if you turn this off in the play preferences menu then the next time you start up the sequence editor on the play menu uh, that option will not be enabled again I like them being enabled so I'll turn them back on now one more thing about channel button colors is uh, you can also display them while the sequence is not playing by default, that doesn't happen, so they're just these gray, uh, this standard gray color. But we could go to View and Channel Button Colors. By default, they're set to None. We could set it to Full if we wanted to. And that'll show you uh, the actual colors of the channels in the channel buttons, no matter whether it's the sequence is playing or not. And... If we go to view again and channel button colors, there's a third option, cell. And this is actually my favorite one. Now, it seems like it just went back to the gray. Well, the reason for that is because the cells that I currently have highlighted are all completely off. If I move to another cell, whoops, <laughs> I move to another cell, it shows the color that the, sequen the channel will be at the start of that cell. So you'll see this one is off because the start of this cell is 0%. It's a fade up from 0% to 100%. These ones are completely on because they're on in this cell. These ones are almost but not quite fully on. If I go over here, they'll be a little dimmer, 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 and off, whereas these are on. And you can move around with your keyboard very quickly and see the colors change. So I think that's about it for channel button colors. I hope this helps.